Hello everyone, this is Liam here for Nintendo Life, bringing you a look behind the scenes on a mysterious project that was recently in the works. For a few months now, it has been an open secret in certain circles of the Spanish games industry that Mercury Steam, the studio responsible for the Castlevania Lords of Shadow games, has been working with Nintendo trying to get a new Metroid game into development. Word first got out about this in late May when the company was assembling a team for this potential game. Firstly, they started to handpick talent from other other Spanish development houses before they put out a hiring call. For whatever reason, they didn't want to simply use the staff they already had on board, they wanted to hire a number of specialist developers from elsewhere, specifically for this new project. We've heard from people who work at the company, other companies that were tapped about the matter of transferring staff to them, and even a couple of people who attended job interviews there. Mercury Steam made the mistake of telling interviewees upon request that they were working on this Metroid pitch, regardless of whether or not they even had had the job. They must have been particularly excited about it, I suppose. With their handful of new hires, they briefly worked on a prototype during the project. It has been described to me by those close to it as a first person game set in a post apocalyptic sci fi environment. It could be played from the perspective of either Samus herself or one of seven other bounty hunters a la Metroid Prime Hunters. It was planned to be developed for both Wii U and 3DS. When we reached the period around which they were expected to present the game to Nintendo, the trail went cold, and everyone we were in contact with at the company went silent on the matter. Unfortunately, everyone else I've spoken to about it in Spain hasn't heard anything since either, which isn't a good sign at all in my experience. Given Nintendo's history of dealing with unsolicited pitches for Metroid like this, it wouldn't surprise me at all if they've turned it down. There is a very small slither of hope that it might in some capacity still exist, but I'm not holding out for it to be honest. With that said, there is a very real chance that this project Project could in some form still see the light of day, retrofitted into an original property, or perhaps they could even use another IP owned by a different publisher. It was mentioned to me numerous times when this started that Mercury Steam had been developing this project with the inbuilt contingency that if Nintendo didn't want to give them Metroid, they had the option of making it into a new IP. A while after I had stopped receiving information on their Metroid game, Mercury Steam posted this on their website, teasing their next project. It shows a man in a spaceship smoking a cigar, accompanied by the following text. Exploring new worlds, fighting strange new creatures, discovering new heroes, expect news soon. Given the obvious similarities this shares with their proposal for the Metroid Wii U and 3DS game, it would seem a real possibility that this new project is being built from the remnants of the pitch. That part is simply our speculation though, just a theory. If I get confirmation on that at some point, I'll let everyone know. In the meantime, it seems possible, if not likely, that Mercury Steam's Metroid could be joining a growing list of pitches for the IP to be turned down in recent years. Would you like to see their take on the series? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I'm currently working on a look at a lost Kid Icarus game. Stay tuned.